Welcome to worship on this most holy of nights, the night we come together to celebrate the Word that became flesh and dwells among us. Let us celebrate Christmas Eve as we hear the lessons and carols. May the peace of Christ be with you. Please share Christ's peace with one another. We light this candle as a sign of the coming light of Christ. As the Lord has promised, in the days to come, the people who have walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. Let us walk in the light of the Lord. Amen. worship. On this holiest of nights, we come joining the shepherds who are stunned by wonder. On this most silent night, we come our hopes and dreams joining those of Mary and Joseph. On this night of carols and candlelight, we come our glad songs joining with the choirs of angels over us.
First reading for this evening is from Isaiah 9, 2 through 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with at the harvest as people exalt when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the trampling warriors and all of the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us a son given to us. Authority rests on his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish it and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this.
second lesson is from Micah, chapter 5, verses 2 through 5a, the ruler from Bethlehem. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore, he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of the kindred shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be the one of peace. If the Assyrians come into our land and tread upon our soil, we will raise against them seven shepherds and eight installed as rulers. lesson is from the first chapter of Luke, verses 26 through 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. 
And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your re relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Our fourth lesson this evening comes from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7, the birth of Jesus. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration 
and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. lesson is from Luke 2 verses 8 through 20. The shepherds and the angels. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields watching over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid for see I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace, among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. 
the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, and as it had been told to them. Our sixth lesson this evening is from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 12, the visit of the wise men. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men came from the east to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at his rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road.
The seventh lesson is from the Gospel according to John, chapter 1, verse 1 through 5 and 9 through 14. The Word became flesh. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all peoples. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave the power to become children of God who were born not of blood or of the will of flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. Let us bow for a word of prayer. We praise you, Jesus, because when you chose to come to us, it was not with fanfare or bright lights, with loud pronouncements or noisy celebrations, nor with dramatic entrances into our world's clashes of ideologies and armies. We praise you, Jesus, because when you chose to come to us, it was in the still, breath-catching moment, the quiet, pregnant wait of a silent, subversive night. So, Lord God, you have come to us. You do not wait for us to become good. You do not stay away f until we search for you. You took the initiative. You entered the world and m you made as a creature so that you could enter the world of our experience and meet us where we are as we are. And so we know that as we pray, you hear and understand and you answer. Come into our world again. Bring your peace and love and trust into a world of war and hatred and suspicion. Come into this land again. Bring your healing into a war ravaged by broken communities, broken relationships, and bodies broken by COVID, cancer, hatred, greed, and all kinds of diseases. Come into your church again. Bring faithful faith and inspiration into the community that you call to be your loving servant in the world. 
and come into our lives and those of our loved ones again. May we know in the depth of our souls today and every day that God is truly with us no matter what life brings. We welcome you and your healing love into our world. All this we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Carry with you the quiet joy ignited in your hearts. You are part of God's gift to the world. Return again and again to Bethlehem. Take time to remember 
and rejoice in our salvation. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and evermore. Amen. Thank you.